For this holy mass for all of the adorers of perpetual adoration both living and deceased for their intentions and for an increase in adorers as today we gather on this first friday of the month we remember the most sacred heart of jesus and the promises that he made to saint margaret mary alacoque let us on this evening in this holy mass offer our acts of reparation and love for all of the sins committed against his sacred heart, the indifference, the ingratitude to the gift of the Eucharist, that we may receive our Eucharist this night well, with love, and repairing any damage that has been done on our own and of our brethren. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See, upon the mountains there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your peace, O Judah, fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrels 
He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. Though ravages have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils, woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear. The many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies of stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you saying, Nineveh is destroyed, who can pity her? Where can one find any? to console her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord. It is I who did and give life. It is I who did and give at hand is the day of their defector, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people, on his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal them and give Learn then that I, I alone am God, and there is no God beside me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who death and give sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance I will repay my foes, and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal them, and give Which which one do you want? Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Okay, I'll let For you whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life but for my no, sake no, no, will I'm find it. Do, do right, do right. What profit would do right, do right, there be for right, one right, to right. gain the whole yeah, world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory. And then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Try 
going in the back. Well, these days, six, six, six silver is a game. Second. Six weapon mm, aids. Well, it's all in. It's all in. This so young Tiger, young Tiger. To millions of you. So imagine teenagers, 20 year olds, hearing today's gospel and being proclaimed as something supremely positive. Okay. Something yes. that at first glance may Nine. sound really negative and six is a, two, it's a, four, a light a that is quite deprived mm -hmm. of the many joys and, and wonders of the world. But what in fact it offers to us is the fullness of life. You know, to say to say yes to Christ implies a setting aside of selfishness. It means to be willing to to endure whatever may be the cost, to say yes to God and neighbor, and to do it in a Christ like way. And so what John Paul II said to these millions of you, he says, we cannot speak about the cross without considering God's love for us. The fact that God wishes to shower us with good things. He continues, with his invitation, follow me. Jesus not only says again to his disciples, take me as your model, but also share in my life and in my choices and stake your life for love of God and for love of neighbor with me. Okay. He says this is how Jesus opens up before us the way of life. In fact, opens up before us his way of life. So it is a supreme yes. Christian discipleship is the ultimate yes. No, it was. It just and so we would do well to consider his way of life and have an intimate knowledge about it, which I can and will offer a few reflections in that regard. But it's something that is much more than just one evening on a Friday night that this topic demands. It's something that ought to be born and nurtured and protected in the silence of our hearts through prayer and to, to do so in his presence, perhaps is even better. And so if we were to think about Jesus Christ and his way of life and all things that pertain to the cross, we would think about how our Lord carried it, that he was mocked, that he was forsaken by all his friends except his dear mother, that he fell out of weakness, that his skin was torn and his clothing was ripped from him. He felt the fear of death and desolation and amid unspeakable sufferings and hanging between heaven and earth, he found no place to lay his head. And so this formula, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me, is one that, that extends throughout his whole life that God came down from heaven for me. And I want to use the words of a blessed who served in the South. He was a redemptorist. His name is Blessed Francis Xavier Silos. In a letter, he helps helped me, and so I, I hope that it helps you, to understand how we can look at all these sufferings in Jesus but to understand it and to do it in an interior manner. So maybe we won't walk the road of Jerusalem and be spat upon and, and mocked in the same way. But interiorly, we may adopt the same spirit of Christ and we're called to. And so he says the following. Consider all the sufferings of Jesus. We should 
and can become entirely like Jesus in an interior manner. Maybe you are not being mocked, but is it not just the same if no one has compassion, or if no one understands, or if no one knows your sufferings, or if no one comforts you? Is it not like hanging between heaven and earth when interior sufferings are like having our skin pulled off or when we are rejected by our friends? He says, when we seem abandoned by God and are rejected by others, where can we find peace? Where are we to lay down our head? Our only consolation comes from looking at our model, Jesus, who is without consolation, and to the suffering mother of sorrows. He continues, only these are to be our comfort. And if we take a pause, that is not such a bad thing. That Jesus and Mary may be my only comfort. Not the things of this world, not human esteem, not things that may distract me. He continues, we must never forsake them, and they will certainly not forsake you. If in our total abandonment, we can hardly help crying out with Jesus, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We should not let our courage waver and quickly cry out and say, Into your hands I commend my spirit, my soul, my life, my death. O Lord, cut and burn from me all that is not becoming of me. Do what you will, but only spare me in eternity. And then he concludes saying, this is the staff. So rather than considering it as a burden, see it as a staff that out of love for Jesus and Mary, you will take in your hand daily and lean upon with trust in God who will guide and carry you into the blessedness of eternal life. So this will come in all shapes and forms. In fact, Fulton Sheen says, there are as many shapes and forms of crosses as there are people. Because each one of us has a unique, custom-made cross given to us by the Heavenly Father. He who knows us from inside and out gives us exactly and only what we need. And returning to the words of St. John Paul II, we cannot speak about the cross without considering God's love for us and the fact that God wishes to shower us with good things. And so come what may, Nothing bad can happen to us except for that which is permitted by a Father who loves us. Things may seem to be spiraling out of control in my life or in society. But God, Jesus, has walked the royal road of the cross before us. And so he has shown us that it is an opportunity, as Fulton Sheen says, a crisis is an opportunity for the Christian. It is an opportunity to be merciful, to suffer, to forgive. It is an opportunity to denounce evil with charity, to combat violence with patience. Coming from the very root of the word, pastia, the suffering. And so therefore we ask in this Holy Mass, 
for the race to always know how to embrace, love, and choose the path of the cross, as it is the most loving, the most selfless, the most merciful, the most humane. It is God's way, and it is God's way for us. Let us ask for the grace to always follow him, invoking the intercession of Mary most holy, who is the model of love to the end. Trusting in God's great love and concern for us, we place our petitions before our Heavenly Father. That the Church may bring the light of faith about the resurrection of the body to a world living in darkness, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for leaders of nations that they may protect and ensure the religious liberties of their constituents, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those suffering from bodily afflictions, that they may have renewed hope in the resurrection of the body and unite their sufferings to the cross of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have fallen away from the faith, those whose faith has grown cold, that by our prayers and our sacrifices, they may be granted the grace to return, especially to the sacrament of reconciliation and receive God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the members of our parish who have fallen asleep in Christ. We pray for all those who have, who have died this day, that they may be released from their stay in purgatory and enter speedily into the rest of Christ's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, trusting in your divine providence, we humbly offer our petitions to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant we pray 
so that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us, Let us give, give thanks, thanks to the Lord our God. God. It is, it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for He raised up, for raised up high on the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from His pierced side, the wellspring of the Church's sacrament. So that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. History of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Clare, with Saint Cunipero Sarah, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Oscar our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us ask you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us ask you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us ask you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us entrust ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary.
let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So following our, our custom um, for the first Friday devotion, we will have the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament and have our Holy Hour. Uh, so we'll transition uh, immediately after the recessional hymn um, and pray the rosary, and then we will have the Eucharistic procession and, and finish uh, thereafter. So I invite you to, to remain in prayerful thanksgiving uh, for the great sacrament that we just received in Christ's uh, body and blood. And... And we will continue our, our devotion to, to the Eucharistic Lord through adoration. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh.
blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Both now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Both now and forever. Let us begin this holy hour of devotion with the Most Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for his intentions, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray for an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. My soul is sorrowful unto death. O Divine Sadness of Jesus, who savest the world and preparest for us the joys of paradise. Heal all our sorrows, accept our sorrow for having so greatly offended the Lord our God. We pray for an increase in the trust in God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. My people, what have I done for you? Where have, wherein have I offended you? Laden with my gifts, you scourge me like the least of slaves. O Jesus, forgive the excesses of impiety against the church, thy mystic body. In this mystery we pray for purity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell. hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Especially those who must believe at thy mercy. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. I am a worm and no man. O Jesus, sated with outrages in this mystery, with what eloquence dost thou not show us that lifted up from earth, we ever return to it again? May this divine lesson subdue our pride. We pray for the gift of fortitude. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us forgive our, our sins, sins. Save, save us from, us from the, the fires, fires of hell. hell. Lead all, Lead all souls, souls to heaven. heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving in every moment The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. They force the Cyrenian to take up his cross. Each day we also receive our crosses from thy hand. O Jesus, grant that we may carry them, not by force, but for love. We pray for perseverance in trials. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Behold thy mother, I thank you, O my Savior, for this admirable gift, this last will of thy love. Grant that I may respond to it by a generous love toward thy afflicted mother. 
we pray for the grace to forgive others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for vanished children. To thee do we send up our signs morning and evening in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, 
of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. For the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. Sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. All you angels and saints. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. First Friday is a day that is traditionally devoted to reverencing and honoring the most sacred heart of Jesus, but is also a day traditionally devoted to prayer for the sanctification of the clergy. The priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus, the saintly cure of ours would often say. So St. John Marie Vianney, whose feast day we celebrated some days ago, would often say that the priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus. This expression is something that can make us reflect with a real gratitude on the immense gift that we have been given, that Jesus, the high priest, chose to remain in our lives through the sacraments and he chose in his divine wisdom to continue his apostolic work the sanctification of the faithful those who have received the gift of faith through the ministerial priesthood and so why the priesthood well the catechism states Holy Orders is the sacrament through which the mission entrusted by Christ to His Apostles continues to be exercised in the Church until the end of time. Thus, it is the sacrament of apostolic ministry. The sacrament of Holy Orders continues the Catechism communicates a sacred power which is none other than that of Christ. Christ is the High Priest. And one of the most beautiful sayings, there's many obviously, but one of the most beautiful and moving sayings in the Catechism is one that reads, the priesthood is the love of, heart, of the heart of Jesus. Citing the very holy cure of ours, the priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus. You know, oftentimes people that have been away from the sacrament of confession, for example, for some time, they often approach it with nervousness and, and fear, actually. But I try to take the opportunity to help them understand that God really desired to allow you to confess your sins to someone who could hear them with his ear, but above all, that you would hear with your own ears the words of absolution. That God's forgiveness being given to you would not be just some abstract hopefulness, but that God in His, His real understanding of, of our human way of being, our human way of knowing and understanding, being respectful of His plan, the nature of human beings, He desired that it be physical, sensible, that it be done through an intermediary, which is a human being. The heart of God pours out blood of compassion. 
We are speaking about the mystery of the heart of a God who feels compassion and pours forth all His love upon humanity. And so we would do well to always remember that the gift of priestly ministry flows directly from this heart. And let us not forget that priests were consecrated to serve humbly and authoritatively the common priesthood of the faithful. And I want to conclude with the words of Pope Benedict XVI. He says, in the footsteps of the cure of ours, he wrote this to priests, but I echo it to all of us here today. He says, in the footsteps of the cure of ours, let yourselves be enthralled by Christ. In this way, you too will be, for the world in our time, heralds of hope, reconciliation, and peace. Enthralled by Jesus, to let oneself be totally won over by Christ. The church needs holy priests, and prayer for priests is something of utmost importance. The church needs ministers who can help the faithful to experience the merciful love of the Lord, and who are His convinced witnesses. And above all, that mercy given to us by God is done through the sacraments. So let us pray for a commitment to the sacraments, and especially the sacrament of confession, where God's mercy is given by recovering the grace that was given to us at baptism and the sacrament of the Eucharist, the celebration of the Holy Mass. Let us ask for this grace today in a particular way, praying for all priests. We will now recite the act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement, consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your Immaculate Heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration we further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion so urgently demanded by the gospel, a conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that like you we may be available only to do always the will of the Father. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, our life and vocation as Christians, that you may dispose of it according to your designs of salvation in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world. We pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist and in the works of the Apostolate, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the Gospel, that shall be to all a good example of the observance of the law of God and the practice of the Christian virtues, especially that of purity. We further promise you to be united with the Holy Father, with the hierarchy, and with our priests in, or in order thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the Church. Under your protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope, on whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, insofar as is possible, we promise to lead those souls with whom we come in contact to a renewed devotion to you. Mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith 
to a great number of the faithful that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world. We make so bold as to lift our eyes trustly, trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus and our merciful and powerful Mother, and we invoke again today and wait from you the salvation of all your children, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. And now let us pray for priests. Almighty God, look upon the face of Jesus, the eternal High Priest, and for the love of Him, have compassion on your priests. Remember that they are but weak and frail human beings. Stir up in them the grace of their vocation. Keep them close to you and protect them from the attacks of the enemy so that they may never do anything unworthy of their sublime vocation. O Jesus, I pray for your faithful and fervent priests, for your unfaithful and tepid priests, for your priests laboring at home and abroad in distant mission fields. I pray for your priests who are tempted, for your priests who are lonely and desolate, for your priests who are young, for your priests who are sick and dying, and for the souls of your priests in purgatory. But above all, I recommend to you the priest dearest to me. I recommend the priest who baptized me, the priests who absolved me from my sins, the priests in whose masses I have participated and who gave me your body and blood in Holy Communion, the priests who instructed me or helped me by their encouragement. I pray devoutly for all the priests to whom I am indebted in any other way, in particular for the priests that, that we now may mention in the silence of our hearts. O oh Jesus, keep them all close to your heart and bless them abundantly in time and in eternity. Amen.
Sacramento mirabili passionis tue memoriam reliquisti, privoi quos omus, ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum in nobis fugiter sensiamus, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Substantially united to the Word of God. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus of infinite majesty. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus sacred temple of God. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus tabernacle of the Most High. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus house of God and gate of heaven. Of Jesus, burning furnace of charity. Out of Jesus, abode of justice and love. Out of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Out of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Out of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Out of Jesus, King and center of all hearts. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, in whom are all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. Of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, patient and most merciful. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, enriching all who invoke Thee. Have mercy on us. Out of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness. Have mercy on us. Out 
of Jesus' propitiation for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient to death. Heart of Jesus pierced with a lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and our reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for our sins. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in Thee. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in Thee. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, oh Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, oh Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of thy most beloved Son, and upon the praises and sancti and satisfaction which he offers thee in the name of sinners, and to those who implore thy mercy in thy great goodness, grant forgiveness in the name of the same Jesus Christ, thy Son who livest and reignest with thee forever and ever.